So here we are once again with my most ambitious project to date. I'm going to show you how to turn a DVD burner into a laser pointer. Obviously first you need a DVD burner. This is an old broken one I had. Came out my friend's computer. It reads the disc so the laser works, but it doesn't read it properly. So I'm hoping it's just a problem with the motor. So what, what you want to do is remove all the screws on the bottom of it. And then pop the bottom off. Revealing a load of circuitry and complex things I don't understand. Now the next thing we want to do is get this front plate off. But to do that we're going to have to open the drive. So you see that little hole there? What I did, I folded up a paper clip, well unfolded a paper clip, and shoved it in the hole. This activates the drive's quick release. Here we go. So then lets it come off. The front then pops off, you push it from the bottom, and then that bit slides out. And from there, the top should be able to come off. Uh, there we go. Takes a little bit of effort. Revealing everything to me. And here you can see the laser. This is the bit we want. Now, all the assembly is holding with these little rubber thingies and some ribbon cables. There's the little rubber things. Eh, not very hard. They had some screws in them, but just take them out. Simple. Then once you've got all that out, you want to remove the motor. There was four screws. And yeah, have a listen. It was the motor. And you can see that riding on the rail thing. Not the drill shape thing in the background. So what you want to do is remove all the little screws around the uh, holding in, the wires. Remove all the screws that are holding around the wires. So the metal bit comes off and then the wires are free, which then releases the rails. There we go. Now we have the laser assembly. So why don't you take your little screwdriver and undo all the screws on here. There's quite a lot of them. I'm going to leave this on just to show you where all the screws are. It's in fast motion if it's any consolation to you. Then this copper plate just pulls off, revealing a load of lenses, showing me that the laser diode uses total internal reflection what happens when you pass an object through a refractive substance. Now what we're going to do is remove this bit. I bet you think it's a laser diode. Well it's not. It's just a lens. This is a laser diode. It's in the bottom of this, next to one of the mirrors. Well, refractive box that do the total internal reflection. Because mirrors don't reflect everything. That fits snugly on there. Now to get the laser out of the heat sink, I used a hacksaw. Cut around it, don't cut through it. Admittedly I went into it a little bit, you'll see later. Here we go, we have the tiny laser diode. This thing is absolutely tiny. It's also very delicate, don't break it. Three pins. Hold it like that, the negatives at the top, positives on the right. There we go, it's how big the laser diode is, compared to a 5P and a AA battery. In case you're in America. Now I ordered this from Axis. It's a laser module. It was a few dollars which translated into even fewer pounds has a focusable lens there's the other laser diode which we'll want to get out in a bit and screw it back together now to get the laser diode out, this is what I did I found a screw that fit just inside the housing but didn't wasn't too big I then took a hammer and gently tapped out the existing laser diode now all diodes use this, negative on the right, positive at the top. And the bottom one I don't use, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even seem to be connected to the other ones. Okay. So let's test it. There we go, red, and probably powerful, it's not focused. That's why it isn't damaging my camera. You'll see how unfocused it is in a second. Let me move the camera. It a little bit. And have a look at my cupboard. A 
Okay, now we focus it. That's why I bought the focusable lens, just in case. Now what I put inside of, this is an old torch off an old toy gun. It has a battery compartment, which I think will be perfect for my switch. And it had a push button switch at the bottom in the first place. That's even better. So it comes apart and reveals lots of space for me to put my stuff in. There we go. Now here's the circuit, two double A batteries lead to a safety switch, and then to the push button switch, because I don't want it coming on when I don't, leading to the laser diode. Now surprisingly this is just an LED in a reflector. I thought it would be a bulb of some sort in this torch, but no. So take it out, and there we go. And what I did, I cut the pins off the LED, there they are. Then I'm going to attach them to the diode, just to make it easier. There we go. I soldered it to there. Not solder, solder. I then glued the lens into there. Just so it's got a nice fit inside the, the thing. Here you can see how I put the switch in. And here we go. Now this is the push button switch, which leads straight into the safety switch. Which then leads into the diode. Then to the power supply. Do not put a 9 volt battery on that, no matter what, how much it looks like. Use one of these. Well not one of these, but one of these in a second. I took that, cut one off, and rewired it. All I had to do was move the wire along. I'll show you in a second. Very easy to do. You could train a giraffe to do it. See, there's the wire. I covered it in glue just to make sure it's secure. So load your batteries. And there you go. You have a laser. Made from a DVD burner. I am putting footage on because I guarantee you've seen a few. They'll be able to light matches, burn through plastic, engrave your name and stuff. And there you have it. That's my laser pointer. Have a HD photo of it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.